Hi, welcome to your election day workout. I would like you to cast your vote for free weights. I think that the best option for an exercise today is going to be based on your own body weight. So the vote today should really go towards body weight. I would like to represent you and I think I can do a superior job. My opponent feels that he can bring his own, his own weight. He will carry his own weight in, this, in, the, in the workouts and in this position. I, on the other hand, am planning on carrying my own weight plus a little bit more. With the weight of the world weighing down on our shoulders, a war going on, our debt spiraling out of control, we've got enough weight to worry about weighing down on us. I think we need to get back to our basics, get back to our foundation, and work with our body weight and stay within our means. That's too deep for me. So, <laughs> so we got a workout here. What you got? You got stations, and you're gonna have a chance to vote. You have a chance to vote on every station. So you got two choices. So the free weights choice, the most logical choice, of course, <laughs> is going to be the tricep extension back here. So you're going to come in here, you come down right over the top of the head there, and coming back up. Get to the hairline and back up, squeezing the elbows in. A vote for free weights on triceps is a vote for sexier arms. So our other option at this station is the body weight, the superior option. So what we're going to do are body weight push-ups. So there's going to be tricep push-ups. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our hands on the mat here. We're going to squeeze our elbows in. We're going to make sure we got our hips dropped in. We want to squeeze our abs tight. So as we go, we may notice a range of motion decrease because this is much more challenging than a regular push-up. It's a lot of that challenge through the triceps as we're going. So you're going to work the arms, but you're also going to get the core going as well. And that's something that we really believe in for our body weight exercises is core. So core values, core beliefs and a beautiful core. Vote free weights. <laughs> All right, so the next station, we have biceps. So we've got the bicep curl for our free, free weight exercise, knees bent. We're bringing the bar up and coming back down. What do you got for them? We have got the bicep squeeze. So instead of worrying about all this movement, all this hullabaloo that we've got going on with these weighted exercise, we're just gonna hold our arms up and squeeze our biceps. We wanna make sure we got our shoulders rolled back, standing tall, and we're gonna squeeze our biceps for that full duration. <laughs> all right. So all the right. biggest challenge there is gonna be that amount of time that you're squeezing. So over here, free weight exercise, we have the deep squats. So we got the kettlebells in here, so we got it set up so we can dip lower because we have our feet up on the benches there, chest out, butt out, and we're standing up. Down and up, this is going to make your butt look incredible. So our other option here, we have, oh, wait. <laughs> we have these step ups. So for our step ups, we really want to focus on our top leg. So for our top leg here, we're going to be lifting up. We'll switch at the top, and that top leg is lowering us back down. So we really want to make sure it's the top leg during the movement and not the bottom leg helping out the bottom and not the bottom leg taking the abuse at the bottom. So if you want to be on top, make sure you're sticking with body weight. <laughs> All right, so the next station, we have the upper back. We've got the, uh, the bent over row. So you've got a weight. The nice part about free weights is that you have a lot of variation. So you have a lot of choices for weights so you can find the one that's going to work you the best and get you the best results. So we're going to underhand grip wide, chest out, butt out, make sure the back stays very, very straight, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So it's not pulling the bar, it's actually squeezing the shoulder blades together, working between those shoulders, getting great posture with the maximum amount of weight possible. So for the clearly superior option, we want to go with our body weight, body rows here. So we're going to have our feet up on the bench, and we can use our body weight and not even have to worry about getting a weight set up or making a choice. We've already got our weight ready. We just need to get in position and get working. All right, for our core, nobody likes doing the plank, so I think you should do V-ups for your free weight exercise. You're gonna grab on here, legs up near, abs tight, make sure your lower back pressed into the mat, and you're reaching back and crunching up just a little bit there, getting those abs really, really working. That extra weight helps get those muscles a little bit more, gets that extra challenge, and gets the definition you want. For this one, if you want a little bit of a rest break, what you can do is grab a plank here. You can either go from the toes or from the knees. Either way, 
You get a nice chance to relax a little bit. If it's not intense enough, what you can do is actually squeeze the abs a little bit harder to add some extra resistance without worrying about all that motion and possibly hurting yourself. My opponent thinks you're going to hurt yourself up really. <laughs> it's not so. Alright, the next step, we have the chest. So we got the upper body. So we have we have chest flies. So in front of the bench here, you grab your weights, you lay back, press them up, and with those arms fairly straight, you're coming out to the side and back up. And when you come out to, the, out to the side, about free weights, and then squeeze right back up about free weights. And make sure you really keep everything locked in really well. When you're done, you're gonna come in here, sit up, set the weights down, about free weights. And that's how it's done. We have push-ups over here. So you may notice that our, a lot of the weighted exercises are very, very concentrated, very focused. And in my opinion, I think they're very narrow-minded. So what we need to do is we need to incorporate a little bit more body movement and a little bit more of our other muscles. So for our body weight exercise here, we have the push-ups. So again, this is focusing on the chest. However, it's not as concentrated. So as we are doing our push-up, we can go either from the knees or from the toes. And as we're going, we're getting the chest, we're getting the abs going, and we're actually getting a little bit of our back going as well, keeping that control and that good posture. But sometimes if you have too many things going, it gets confusing and you end up messing it up. So obviously it makes more sense to focus on just one area at a time, just so you don't hurt yourself with the complexity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the leg. We've got, the, we've got a couple more. We've got three more here. We've got the, the uh, legs. We've got the hex bar squats. So these are basically just a way of uh, holding the weights there. So you're going to squat down, chest out, butt out, grab a hold of the hex bar here. And you're going to stick the chest up, drop the butt down, keep those knees out, weight on the heels. And you're just going to push the heels down and come up. Oh my goodness. I just felt my pants fit better. Just from one. These are going to be great. You're going to enjoy these. So our body weight exercise, we have the stability ball leg curls. So for this, we're going to focus really hard on moving nice, slow, and steady to build that booty and those legs that you want. As we're going, we'll lay back here. We're going to have our legs up on the ball. We're going to lift our hips, and we're going to squeeze our heels inward. So it's very important that we take our time and we go nice and steady. So as we're moving, we don't want to go all crazy and move too quickly. That'll throw us off and that'll get things moving in the wrong direction. So very important, especially as you're making your party choices today, that you choose correctly. Go with the slow, the steady, the right option. Body weight. Free weight. <laughs> right. And the last one here, we have the, uh, another, another upper back, really good for posture here. Uh, the free weight exercise, which is going to incorporate a lot more uh, benefits, is uh, the side plank side raise. Here on the elbow here, hips off the ground, and you're reaching up and coming back down. Reaching up and coming back down. You do 10 on one side, and then you do 10 on the other side. Right in here, hips are up, coming up, and back down. Arm stays relatively straight throughout that motion, and you get some wonderful, wonderful benefits from that. And free weights just wants you to have a great workout. I also want you to have a great workout, but I also want you to make the best choice. And our best choice at this last station is going to be our T squeeze. So using our body weight, we're actually just going to bring our arms out like a T. And we're going to bring our shoulder blades back and together. It's very important that we don't have our shoulders shrugged up for this one. So we want to stand tall, stand confident, and squeeze those arms backwards. So make the tall, confident choice. Go with body weight today. So you get more than one chance to, to do this. So you go around there. And if you happen to make the wrong choice on your first round, like you chose a body weight exercise, you do have a chance when you come around for another round you can make the, the right choice and do the free weight exercise, the one that's going to get you more benefits. So if you happen to have a, a miscount or something go wrong at the ballot box and you happen to choose those free weights, we do have a second and third possibly option as we're going. So you can, you can make that change to the body weight. Live free. Free weights. Why do we
Rewait. You have exercised good judgment in watching this video. If you didn't like the workout today, remember, you voted for it. <laughs>